So it's Silencer here. I'm gonna show you my Stalker build uh, for DPS spec and give you some tips if you don't already know it. So first of all, I've gone for the suit power regeneration spec, which basically anything that refunds suit power you want to take, you want to tear your first uh, auto, basically like an auto attack, you want to tear that up fully because it has the generate one suit power every one second for five seconds, stacks two times. Then you also want Ruin in tier 4, not worth going much further than that. Uh, generates 2 suit power every 1 second. Keep it off, use it off cooldown, make sure it stays up. It does some initial damage and damage over time, both good. Uh, especially if you have to run away from boss because he's doing some certain ability or something at the moment. You quickly run away, use dot still ticking, all the damage you can do over time. Then I've taken Punish, I tiered it up to tier 4. Now, some fights you'll have to untier it to use another abilities, but to maximize DPS, I use this for the exposed armor. Um, yeah, and it also refunds suit power, so it's really good. And procs, but, and it has a cooldown, but you barely notice in fights. Unless you really, really need suit power, then you notice which is not a lot with the suit power regen build. Okay, then for my uh, other DPS ability is neutralize. Now this one is a uh, uh, don't need, it's not a must, it's dependent on what you're about to do. If you're entering an AoE fight, you want this neutralized because it's a lot of AoE damage, it's nice. If you need to slow, you take cripple, you know, it depends on what you need. You replace it with whatever uh, you need. Then, on my utility tree, I have one stun, and I use re Tactical Retreat. Now, Tactical Retreat, once again, it's one of those abilities I prefer. You can swap it out for Pounds, probably, or something else, depending on what the fight, once again, needs. Uh, most fights I've noticed, Pounds is great for, so if you want to use Pounds, then that's it. I use this in case the tank is not too great geared and I get aggro because stalker burst, burst is insane as you probably know and then you can just drop aggro quickly but as I said sometimes you'll definitely have to replace it with pounds especially storm town lair that's a very good uh, yeah example false retreat I would prefer never using that uh, interrupt it's a bit buggy at the moment I would say for PvE at least, sometimes it misses or something like that. I've tried it, don't like it that much. But I guess if you like it, you can use it. Doesn't matter, if it works, it works. I prefer going with Collapse. Now, Collapse is quite nice because it also pulls the targets towards you and interrupts them. If it's mobs, not bosses, obviously, it's not a taunt. Uh, so yeah, then you, you can use this. A good example for where this stun is, or not stun, interrupt is good, but also pulling targets towards you is good for is the second boss in Temple of uh, yeah, Calvareth because uh, uh, the ads that chase people you can pull them towards you slow them but yeah and as I said it basically if you want two stuns you can always swap eight out for another stun or you can replace you know it depends on you uh, there's two abilities you can play around with it's the neutralize slot and the tactical retreat slot now if we go to my amps, I have the f uh, amps of fatal wounds, another dot, very good, uh, it's pretty much at 5 stacks if you're DPSing that boss or one target, it will stay full and it will, yeah, it will be there. So very good, very good uh, amp to have. Then battle mastery, um, when you're below 30% suit power you gain 8% damage, very good once again because you're going to be using your suit power so much you, there will be times you're going to be under 30 and then you do that little bit extra damage to keep your damage stable then I have brutality mastery I would say this is probably a must amp since you get increased 30% brutality when you're above 70% health which is most of the time if you do not walk into telegraphs so that should be a must then I have devastate when the target is below 25% health, damage uh, your critical hits, pierce 100% armor, and deal 600, obviously scales of brutality, it deals a little bit of damage as well. So that's good. Then Onslaught is the last, like, 
I would say major amp I have. Uh, landing a hit from behind has a hundred chan a hundred percent chance to grant empowerment. Empowerment gives you twelve percent uh, its assault power for six seconds, and if you're not attacking from behind, um, well then you're not a good stalker because all their abilities should be from behind. Then I went into a hybrid assault here. Uh, I went for unfair advantage, uh, so I can get three impales off from the start, since it reduces suit power of. Uh, every ability used from stealth. So that first impale will cost eight less suit power, and I've most of the time I notice I can get about three off, and then it, it yeah yeah do a lot of damage burst. Then it's the standard, you know, sp uh, stats amps you have, and then I went into a little bit of utility here, cooldown reduction, because that's always nice. So yeah, that is my Stalker DPS build. Uh, very good, sustained damage, uh, very good for a few fights already, I've tested it and done very well. And I hope everyone enjoyed the guide, if you liked it, come back next time. See ya.